Hi and welcome to our YouTube channel, Dinomania. So if you like dinosaurs, then make sure you like our page, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This will notify you every time we post a new video, so you won't miss a thing. Today's video isn't even about a dinosaur. Today's video is going to be about one of the pterosaurs, the flying reptiles of the sky. We're going to be concentrating on one in particular, the Pteranodon. I love teaching children about prehistoric creatures, and today we've got one of the best prehistoric creatures around. So what we're going to do to start is I'm actually going to get one of my very own baby Pteranodons just for you. So stay right there while I go and get her. Ooh, I can't wait. Easy, easy, come on girl. Whoa, everybody say hello to this baby Pteranodon. How amazing is she? Her name is Terry, but with a silent P. So we actually call her Terry. <laughs> hello, but ooh. Um, and Terry is a Pteranodon. That's right, one of the flying reptiles of the skies. This prehistoric creature isn't even a dinosaur. I know, how amazing is that? She is actually known as a pterosaur. That's right, pterosaur. And as a pterosaur, the word means flying reptile. And with the, oh, sorry. And with these amazing wings, she could fly high in the sky. The word pteranodon actually means toothless wing. And that's right, she hasn't got any teeth. This species of pterosaur never grew any teeth at all. Um, so making them a very unusual species of pterosaur indeed. Let, her, let me bring her close to the camera, just for you guys. Can you see the amazing beak-like mouth? And this crest on top of her head. She is amazing. Right guys, I'm just gonna put Terry down and give her some food. What do you want for food, Terry? Um, her favorite food is actually fish. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of fish now and give her a little bit of a rest. And I'm gonna bring her back a bit later on. So say goodbye for now, guys. Well done. What an easy. Every time I'm online, I like to play a little bit of a game with you guys. It's called Guess the Dinosaur. Do you wanna play a game? Great stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a dinosaur from my backpack or front pack or side pack. It doesn't matter what sort of pack it is. I'm gonna pull a dinosaur out of it and you guys are gonna guess what it is. There's gonna be three in total and let's see how many you get right. The answers will be in the comments below. Okay, here goes the first dinosaur. Oh, whoa. Check this one out. This one had one, two, three horns. Can you see that? A frill on top of its head looked a little bit like a crown and it walked on four legs. Does anyone know the name of this one? I think it's a plant-eating dinosaur, especially with teeth like that. There's the first one. Can you just put that one back in my bag? Oh, now there's an unusual looking one. It seems to only walk on two legs and its arms are raised off the floor. Can you see the double crest on top of its head? Ooh, what is that? Looking at those teeth, I think it's a carnivore, which means the meat eaters. But what dinosaur is that? Hmm, do you know? Okay, let's see what else is in the bag. Oh, there's not, there isn't another one in here. Oh yes it is, it's just so small. Whoa, what is this? This is a tiny dinosaur. In fact, I'd say it's one of the smallest dinosaurs. Can you see it? It seems to have four wings. Hmm, not sure what this one eats. Maybe some insects and leaves. So this one's an omnivore. Hmm, do you guys know? Well, good luck, I'm gonna put it back. So if you guys know what dinosaurs they were, 
comment below. Hopefully you're going to get them all right. Okay, that's enough of Guess the Dinosaur. Let's bring Terry back. The Pteranodon actually lived in the Cretaceous period, between 85 and 75 million years ago. Whoa, that is so long ago. Even though Terry is pretty small, um, she is going to grow to be huge. Um, in fact, look at the size of this. Look at the wingspan. Wow, it is huge, guys. But wait, some prehistoric pterosaurs were huge including this, the Quetzalcoatlus. Wow, just check out the size. Stood up, it could be the size of a giraffe, and when its wings opened, it'd be the size of a plane. Whoa. The Pteranodon had a crest on its head, very distinctive. This is one way you can definitely spot a Pteranodon over a pterodactyl ah. any day. The Pteranodon had no teeth at all, hence the name, ah. the Toothless Wing. Also, a very short tail compared to other pterosaurs. Ah. So the Pteranodon was sure, surely distinctive enough. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to hold her much longer. Easy, Terry. Okay, I'm going to give her some more food. Hang on. Um, we know they loved eating fish and ah. sometimes some small insects as well. So let me see if I've got any fish for her. Of course I've got oh. some fish. No, you can't open oh. it yet. I'll open it for you. I'll... I'll... <sighs> but Terry, um, I'll open it for you in a second. Wait, let me just put that down. Oh. Jeez, she is getting hungry, so I'm oh. gonna have to put her away at the moment. Um, And we may bring her back a bit later. So if you like dinosaurs, then make sure you like our page, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This will notify you every time we post a new video, so you won't miss a thing.